working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until this curtain's on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until this curtain's on a gig until I feed my folks. Let's get free. I guess I'd have to say mine's the, the brontosaurus. What do you mean that's not a real dinosaur? Since when? What? That's outrageous. Look, I, is your mom or dad there or what? Then what am I even doing here? Brontosauruses didn't exist. No, they were apatosauruses the whole time. Personally, I think there's only one gigantic dinosaur and they just keep rearranging the bones each time and calling it something different. Pluto's not a planet. The brontosaurus isn't a dinosaur. What's next? Photosynthesis is a hoax. What? It's too small. Doesn't add up. Oh, um, cucumbers are a fruit. Wait, no, I thought that was tomatoes. No, it's both. Wait, are you telling me that pickles are a fruit? Pickles are a fruit? No, no, I can't, no, no. Uh, uh -uh. Are you okay? No, I don't know, I mean, you know, it's six and one dozen, you know what I'm right? You know what I'm? Mm. Knock, knock. Hey, friends, did I hear somebody say pickles? <laughs> Actually, we were just talking because about Because in middle school, I got a valentine from this boy, Jimmy Landers, and it had a picture of a pickle on it, and it said, will you be brine? Well, shouldn't it have been a cucumber? I don't follow. Oh, because cucumber mm -hmm. plus brine equals pickle. Ah, oh, you're right. You're, you know, Jimmy was never very smart. And either way, I turned him down. How come? Because he wasn't smart enough for you? No, no, oh my gosh, I had the biggest crush on him. No, I was just way too scared to actually go out with him. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I've always wanted to go to Dollywood, but I never have because I'm afraid it won't live up to the idea I have in my head. Oh my God, that is so sad. That's okay, I'll go eventually. No, Maggie's story. If you want something, you should pursue it. You deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, life's good, right? Like, look where we are. Okay. Okay, thanks for the girl chat, girls. All right, I'm gonna get back to the phone. Okay, yeah, good okay. luck. <laughs> Bye. Yikes. What? This is life being good. Oh. I've only been here a few weeks and I'm already exhausted from all the rejection. Yeah, that. I just try to stay positive. It, it can be hard though. Also, no. Mm -mm. What? Mm. No, I just like really don't want to be negative. <laughs> Please, negativity is my positivity. Okay, um, you know what's worse than the rejection? What? When they're so excited to talk to you. It's just like really lonely people who just want to chat, 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 and like not spend any money on meat. Woof, I have not had that pleasure yet. Yeah. You know what's even worse when I really start to think about it? What? When you make a sale. Oh, come on, that's the only good part. No, it's not. Nobody's sitting at home just thinking like, wow, I'm really hungry. I really hope someone calls my house offering to sell me meat that arrives in three to five business days. I've definitely had a few friends who have felt that way. And they don't have to buy it. No, you're right. You're right, right? I mean, obviously, it's not like we're like tricking them into the gas chambers or anything. It's just like, if you're good at this, you probably could. All right. Good talk. Yeah, yeah. Let's stay positive out there. <laughs> this meat ain't gonna sell itself. <laughs> Listen, this meat practically sells itself. What's up, buddy? I have a problem. Oh, of course you do. Here, take a seat and tell the Dan man about it. There's no place to sit. It's just expression. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, uh, so there's this girl. Oh, do I know who it is? Oh, it's Lorraine, isn't it? Trust me, I get it. No, I mean, yes, you know her. Oh, so okay, so you like this girl? No, it's not like that. Oh, so you don't like her? No, I mean, I like her as a friend, I just don't like, like, like her. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Oh, good, so <laughs> there's a point. You know, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Hey, hey. Because even though you don't like to admit it, you and I are friends. Danny and Mart, office bros. Not a nickname, but fine. Every time I talk to Carrie, I 
keep making an ass of myself. That's standard stuff, my man. You're just nervous talking to an attractive lady. No, but that's the thing. It's not because of that. I had this one conversation where I said something weird and I got in my head about it. So, of course, I did it again. And now, every time I try to talk to her, I'm so desperate for it to sound normal, I keep messing it up. The discomfort is palpable. <laughs> Hell, if I gave up on a girl every time there was palpable discomfort... Hey, guys. What's up? Good. Uh, and you? Okay. See what I mean? Yeah, that was embarrassing. What do I do? I'd probably just kill myself. Great. Never mind. No, no, come on, come on, I'm kidding. You're just, you're too in your own head. It's like my dad always used to say. Don't overthink it, just throw strikes. You played baseball? No, I, you do know what an expression is, right? Okay, how do you suggest that I just throw strikes? Okay, how about this? The next time you are in a conversation with her, you say as little as possible. One word answers only. <laughs> Won't that be awkward? Baby steps. When you feel like you're ready, maybe you ask her the questions. Make her answer. That way, you are in the driver's seat. You know, that's not a half bad idea. I have gotten worse reviews. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Oh, by the way. Yeah. I would never kill myself. <laughs> That's great. You should lead with that. I know, right? Sometimes it's like, which one of these guys is the half man? <laughs> oh, hi, Martin. Long time no see. Yes. Um, how are your calls going? Good. Good. Is there something I can help you with? Or? Nope. I'm good. Okay. How good. are you? Oh. Um. I'm actually kind of having a weird morning. Weird? Yeah. Are you a podcast person? Sure. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cool. So. I listen to Mark Maron's podcast. He's kind of like a mentor of mine. And he says, it's easy to maintain your integrity when nobody's offering to buy it out. And I just feel like sometimes working here is costing me my integrity, you know? Yes. Yes, I do. You like quotes, huh? Oh, I mean, I guess. I just, I don't think of them as quotes. It's just like wise things people have said. Everything's a sale. Either you're selling them or they're selling you. <laughs> huh. I mean, I'm not sure I agree, but that is an interesting perspective. Who said it? Hopefully, a customer said it right before you made a sale. No, no uh, we were just, um... Oh, yes. Tell me more about what you were doing. Um, 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 making talk, uh, chitter-chat? Chitter-chats? Labor breaks? Labor what? Oh, so close. Um, we were just psyching ourselves up to make more calls. Sorry about the titter chats. Um, we just, we've had a tough morning. It happens. Just try to funnel that energy into phone conversations and ideally sales. Because if you don't make sales, we might as well be a website. <laughs> then everyone here will be out of a job. Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, that's it. Freezer Fresh provides jobs. And if we don't make sales, there's no freezer fresh, which means we'd all lose our jobs, which means we can't contribute to the economy, which means other sales drop, which means other people lose their jobs, and that's why we need to sell meat to strangers. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Oh my god, no. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. That's not the whole quote, but you get it. Oh my god. Thank you, Denise. Just doing my job. Exactly. Daniel? Hey, Maggie. Hi, do you want to go get dinner romantically with me this Saturday? On a date? With you? On a, on a, uh, with me? And on a, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, uh, yes, I, I would like that very much. Excellent. That's great. I'll, I'll be ready at seven. Um, sh oh, should I wear this shirt or like a... Uh, uh, that's up to you. I mean, it's a different day from today, right. so... Right, yeah, so yeah. different shirt then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, you should know I am an old-fashioned girl. Oh, of course. No, no, I would, I would never try anything on the first date. Oh, no, no, well, I'm open to that. I just oh. mean, um, if you wanted to, you know, offer to pay, what with your big new promotion and all. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> anything you want off the dollar menu. <laughs> Oh God, I am, that was a joke. I am so oh, sorry, that, I, that, that was a total joke. I enjoyed it. Oh great, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'll have a good night. Yeah, not uh, if I see you first. Wow, that was palpably uncomfortable to watch. Hilarious. So how did it go with you and Carrie, hmm? Uh, actually, I'll find out momentarily. Hey, uh, Carrie, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, sure thing, detention buddy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was really cool of Denise not to get too upset. Oh, yeah. Denise is super chill. She's just the boss, so she has to be like, rawr, yeah, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so chill. Uh, listen, um, I just wanted you to know, um, I want you to know that I know that our conversations have been awkward. Um, well, they are now. And I also wanted you to know that it's not because you're good looking. What? No, I mean, I, I don't like you. Why, why don't you like no, me? See, this, it's happening again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I know that I've been awkward recently with my conversations with you, and that's why I've been being so awkward. It, it's this vicious cycle. Oh my god, is that like soul cycle? What? N no. <laughs> I'm I... kidding. Oh my god, you can relax. I have not noticed. And even if I have, who cares if you're a little awkward? I mean, it's those overconfident folks that you have to be careful of. <laughs> Is that a quote? I just said it. So, yeah, I guess it could be. Hey, hey. <laughs> Carrie and Mart, huh? Oh, hey, Kmart. Um, <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Thanks. Anyway, don't bother inviting me to anything this Saturday night, because I got a date. I have never we seen don't you pass by hang out PM. socially. Oh, well, all right, just, you know, don't expect that to change on Saturday, I guess. Oh, um, congrats on the promotion, by the oh. way. Oh, yeah, yeah, you heard about that? Huh? Yeah. I mean, I did think it was a little weird in the beginning that you got the promotion over Maggie, since she's been here longer and has had, you know, similar numbers, but I'm sure you deserved it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can think of a way to make it up to her, as a gesture, <gasps> you know? Yeah, yeah, make it, oh, God, um, flowers, yeah? Mm. No, a limo, no. I cannot afford a limo. Um, flowers and I'll wash my Toyota, huh? Can women tell if you've sprung for premium gasoline? Can they? Mark! I'm not gonna be sleeping tonight! Now who's the awkward one? <laughs> Gary, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, Catsablanca. Wait, did you just say Catsablanca? Yeah, it's the all cats version of Casablanca. Oh. But you've seen the original, right? No. What's the point? I've already seen it with cats. <laughs> so. And I thought I was the weird one. Does that mean you haven't seen the pig Lebowski? No, no, I haven't. It's actually not as good as the original. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until his curtains on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until his curtains on a gig until I feed my folks. Daniel? Hey, Maggie. Do you want to go to date, um, Daniel? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Very sorry. Wow. That was uncomfortably palpable. Oh, fuck. <laughs>